I'm Ernesto Garcia from Your Country, 103.9 KGRT and the Your Country Social Distancing Morning Show. And nothing is country better here in Las Cruces than our very own Frank Ray at Amador Live from yeah. Max and Chill right. with a good friend Max, the main man in charge here at Amador Live. Mark it down on your calendar. Stop the doom scrolling. Forget anything else you're doing. Put this in. Tell your Alexa. Tell your Siri. Tell your priest that it's going to be Saturday night, August 29th, a barbecue farewell to our friend here, Mr. Frank Ray, leaving Las Cruces to move to the home of the Preds, the home of the Titans, Music City, USA. That's where you're moving, Frank. Got to get the family ready to go. That's and are it, you getting man. excited about this? Dude, I've been excited for a long time. Nashville's always sort of been the, the end goal. Um, and now that it's sort of right around the corner, it's it's all real surreal to me, you know what I mean? But uh, man, it's been a long time coming, like I said. And uh, if you're going to really make a, the dent and the mark that you want to make in this industry, uh, you got to be there. I tell you what, before he makes it out to some of the big name places like Old Red or FGL's bar places, he's going to be here at Hammond or live. Max, how excited are you to have him? Oh, we're just ecstatic. Uh, I, you know, I wish... Uh, I wish we could do something uh, even bigger, you know, but we we want to make sure that uh, we, we comply and go with the go with the regulations that are in place. Maybe they'll have adjusted by the time we get there, but uh, the way we're doing it, it's a it's a barbecue, it's a it's a reservation only deal, so you got to reserve your table. Uh, we're reserving up to six people at a table, and we're spreading them out around the lawn and spreading them out on all the patios and. Don't quite have the capacity that I know we could do, but I'm just I'm really excited about it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Now let me reiterate this. This is gonna be something very unique because of the COVID-19 rules and everything we're following. You are gonna have a chance to have a barbecue, a farewell send-off, and if he brings his guitar, brings a couple of people in the background there, he's gonna just let it all hang out like you always I mean, do. Yeah, man. I mean, uh, <clears throat> give me a guitar, bro. I mean, I got the gotta get the boys. We gotta play some music. If you just happen to be here eating some food while we do so. Well then, more, more power, power to you. you. <laughs> and then let's go right to it because you also know you love your barbecue. That's so right. So what do you like barbecuing the most on the grill? What do you want to cook there? Because you might just get the grill too and just you know get yeah. some dongs there. What are you gonna Depends. cook? Yeah, that's on my rider actually. It's uh, huge two-inch steaks, right? I think we got that's it. That's all we can do. <laughs> no. uh, you yeah. want the biggest steak. What's, what's the biggest steak, Max? Been doing? Oh, <laughs> we, could, we could do a big one. Yeah. <laughs> no, man. Uh, honestly, man, I'm a big barbecue chicken fan. Uh, steaks, you can never go wrong with steaks. We love arrachera. We love uh, every time we have a little uh, get-together or something like that. Uh, Oscar and the fam and I and everybody, like, we get together, and it's always arrachera on, on the grill. So uh, it's good stuff, man. It's easy to make some quick tacos with that. And, you can never go wrong with tacos, right? Well, it's been a shock because we haven't had a chance to talk to you. The pandemic has just shut down everything. Correct. Concert tours are not happening. I know you and many of the artists out there, being away from the fans this yeah. long, yeah. how are you holding from that? I mean, do you get withdrawals in this? Is it trying to get to you sometimes? Like, yeah. just want to go out and play. Uh, yeah, man, you, you said it best. You get withdrawals. You don't realize how much you miss the stage um, until, until it's not a thing that you can do anymore. Um, and yeah, from my perspective, you know, like where I left a career to do this as a, as another career move, and that kind of be stripped away from me last minute, and it's like, ah, uh, what happened? But luckily, uh, I've been focusing a lot on writing, so that's kind of a silver lining. Like my writing has gotten a lot better. I've been surrounding myself with some of the some of the greatest writers in Nashville has to offer, and uh, we've been banging out some great songs, man. So I'm really, really excited. Uh, I got to choose a few um, to release here in, in the in the future, in the near future, uh, and it's gonna be really hard to do, which is a good problem to have to make it hard to pick a, a song to go forward with because they're all great. How are the kids and your wife getting ready for the move? Are they excited about it? Yeah, I mean, there's a roller coaster of emotions, right? You know, it's a excitement, uh, uh, anxiety, uh, you know, fear of the unknown. But uh, quite frankly, we set out to do this project three years ago, and, and I mean, we wound up here and all because of hard work and determination. And I told my wife, just like I get to everybody else, like failure is not an option for me. You know what I mean? So uh, I go over there with, with uh, you know, with open arms, with an open heart, an open mind, uh, making sound decisions, surrounding myself with the right people. And we're just, we're just kicking butt, man. It's good. Looking forward to watching what he does, because I think he's going to bring something really special to the to the music world in general over there, because it's it's, He's going to make Southern New Mexico very proud. I think so. I appreciate it. And right. on that note, can I just thank Max and everyone here at Amador Live, man, for, for having us out here. Yeah. Giving us, giving us a, an opportunity to do this because I knew we were going to leave the national, but I, I just felt wrong leaving my home state, which I hold near and dear to my heart, man, and, uh, and leaving all these people in this community that have supported me since day one. 
and just kind of leaving without saying a proper goodbye, you know. And, and certainly, I, I'm sure we'll be back, but whenever the world decides to open up, like open up again. But sure. for the time being, it just seems like who knows when this opportunity is going to come again. So we really wanted to capitalize on it, and I want to thank you guys and everyone at your Absolutely. staff. Absolutely. Um, for making this possible for us. Well, we're looking forward to rolling out the red carpet. It's going to be fun. All right. Frank, how are people going to reach you, get a hold of you, know what's going on, and what can we expect to see when you're up there? Yeah, man. As always, my phone number is... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, at frankraymusic.com or uh, all social media platforms at frankraymusic. Uh, there actually have been like an abundance of fake profiles that have popped up, especially on Instagram. Shout out to the fans that let me know all the time, but uh, this is probably like the 12th one. And I'm just like, all right, just ignore them at this point. If it doesn't have a blue check, it's not me. So that's it. That's it. It's going to be fun, man. I'm looking forward to it, guys. Looking forward to it. Right, Frank Ray, ladies Good and gentlemen. Yeah. Frank Ray Music. All right. Is that and we'll see you here at Amador Live on Saturday night, August 29th. Get your seats now because once they're gone, they're gone. Cheers.